Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the Color Center in Raya Pro. This panel allows us to correct our colors, to add warmth or cold to our colors, and to control individual colors as well. Now the first thing I want to show you is the manual color correct here because this requires a little bit of explanation. This option allows us to correct the colors in our image and we can do that by establishing a gray point. So I'm going to press that button and here we have two layers, one called layer one and the other one called threshold. All we need to do now is go to our eyedropper tool, right click if you see the eyedropper tool and choose the color sampler. Now if you open up the threshold layer, and put that down to one. Now we just drag this along until black parts begin to appear. And you see we have some black areas here. And now all we need to do is put a marker in those black areas. So I'm gonna click once with my left mouse button and now we have a marker. So if I zoom in, you'll be able to see that marker and it's right in the black point there. Now I can make these two layers invisible. I can open up a curves layer click on this option here, which is our gray point. And then I simply click in that area to tell Photoshop that it's our gray point. So there we go. And if I zoom out, that is the before and after. So it's done an excellent job of removing that really cold cast from my ND filter. And now I just click on the color sampler again, right click and choose delete. So that is how you use the manual correct option in Raya Pro. Now you'll also see above here we have correct one, correct two and correct three. So I'm just gonna delete these layers and I'm gonna use correct one. And these three automatically color correct your images so you don't have to. And you'll see this again has done a fantastic job. It's a slightly different result to the manual color correct. It's a lot brighter and I actually think this one looks better. But if that one doesn't work, you can try correct two, and if that doesn't work, you can try correct three. And each one does something completely different. For one image, you might find correct two works beautifully. For another image, you might find it works terribly. So that's why we have three different options in there for you. Now here we have something called B and W, and that's quite simply black and white. So it makes our image black and white, and we can click here and change certain tones in our image to get greater control over the final result. I'm gonna show you the next thing, which is cold, colder, coldest, or warm, warmer, warmest. And here, all we're doing is injecting a colder or warmer temperature into our image. So we have this Milky Way shot. Um, we wanna take out some of this warmth. It's a little bit yellow or orange uh, or brown. And I can do that by, let's say, pressing coldest. And all of a sudden, we've corrected the colors in the image beautifully. We have a much colder scene and we have a nice blue sky. Now coldest is the strongest amount. So if I delete that and choose just colder, you'll see the effect is a little bit weaker or cold. And it's a very subtle effect with just cold. You can combine them too. So if I press coldest and then colder, now we've got an even more beautiful blue sky with those gorgeous stars and a foreground that is correctly colored. So we can combine these things to change the temperature in our image or correct colors. And of course, warmest, warmer and warm work the same way. We can inject warmth into our image if we think our frame will benefit from that. And if you want, we can saturate all of our colors. So make them a lot brighter, a lot more colorful by using this saturate all button. And you can use it as many times as you want to add saturation to all of your image. I'm gonna delete a few of these. Or you can choose individual colors. So you can click on green and that will saturate the greens. Or you can choose cyan and that'll saturate the cyans. Or yellow or blue. So you can individually affect the colors in your image. If you want, you can desaturate all of the colors or you can desaturate individual colors. So it's blue, green, yellow. And you'll see we're only affecting certain tones at a time. Now the options down here are quite obvious. So we're gonna add some colder tones to our shadows. So we press cold shadows. There's the before and after. Or we can add some warmth to our shadows. And there's the before and after again. It's a very subtle effect. We can add some cold to our highlights, which is usually a very useful tool when working with cityscapes. And the most popular one of these is warm highlights, which looks great with beautiful golden hour landscapes and it just adds some warmth to the highlights. 
Now it's very subtle here because we don't have too many highlights, but we can always open up this layer and increase the warmth as we see fit. So there's before and after. And so that is how we use the functions in Color Center.